Hello, boys and girls. Kyle at A0Z here. I came across this really cool program on Reddit. I will link all of the um, URLs in the description below. But I hate my 891 interface to get into my uh, the controls to do everything from change uh, um, modes to... Uh, set the settings to do digital modes, to uh, do the power, reset the power to whatever I need. Some dude, uh, he goes by no putting three one three five three on Reddit. He posted this to the uh, the Reddit page, and it looks something like this. It is a web based cat control system that you can install on basically anything. I'm going to install it on Windows. I have my Evolve laptop, the, you know, the $60 laptop. I've got that down here sharing the screen, and we're going to install this program on this laptop because this is probably going to be the one that I'm going to take out and do a POTA and control the 891 with. So the 891 is sitting right over here. It is on. I have a USB cord connected to uh, this laptop. And there's a few things that you have to do to get this up and running. So I think the first thing you have to do is you have to go over to Yesu's website and you got to download this virtual com port driver. Once you get that installed, uh, if you got questions, there's this uh, SCU 17 USB driver manual, installation manual that you can take a look at. That is going to install that enhanced port that you're going to do cat control over and PTT and all this other um, stuff that you need. Um, and then you also need, if you scroll down here, I think this interface looks pretty cool. That's why I'm a little excited about it. Uh, it's a little dark on, on the screen over here, but um, it's in dark mode here, and it looks slick. It's really cool. This thing's got... TX control, RX control, band pan, uh, a menu editor, pan adapter integration. It's It's got all these really cool things. So what we're going to do is uh, after you install the USB driver, you got to install Java. Well, you got to install, you got to download the program, and that's this file right here, this link. So this is for all versions of OS, doesn't matter the Raspberry Pi, or if it's Linux, or if it's Mac OS, or it's Windows, this thing runs in Java, so you're going to have to have a Java emulator, which we're going to get to, and we're going to download that, which is very easy, so go ahead and uh, download this, <clears throat> and then also unpack it, so extract it so it is, um, you know, in your downloads folder, and it's not in a, uh, uh, a zip file. So then you want to come down here for Windows, which probably most of you are going to be running this on Windows. Come down here to this link, and you install this open uh, JDK build from Adopium. And don't know anything about it. I just went ahead and installed it. It was a very easy install. If you come down here, uh, you go to the home page, you need version 21. I did the long-term uh, support. I came down here to Windows and clicked the download. It downloaded it. I extracted it. I installed it. It was very easy. So got to do that. And then after you're done doing that, you can check the version that makes sure that it's, it's the correct version. So again, you need something 21 or higher so i open a prompt here so you can go down to you know your search menu and type in cmd and it'll bring this up so if i type in java j-a-v-a -A, uh, one tack and then version e-r-s-i-o-n it's going to come back and say i'm running 2107 uh version so i think i'm ready to kind of run the um the program. Now, if you've got a Pi or you're running this maybe in Mac OS, I'm not really sure if this is for Mac OS, but um, for a Raspberry Pi, you need to make sure that your group 
um, has the right permissions. So here's some some uh, commands you need to run. I don't need to run those because I'm running Windows. So here we go. We are going to run this program. Now, keep in mind, you probably downloaded this into your download folder. So I need to um, downloads. And then it is another pro or another folder in there. I think it's called 891. And then I hit the tab button and it automatically fills it in. So now I'm in the proper directory. So now it wants me to say Java, J-A-V-A, TAC, J-I-R, 891, C-T-R-L, C-T-E-R-L dot J-A-R. hate these laptops that have horrible keyboards. So I think if I hit the enter button, this thing is going to run. It's thinking. It's thinking, ah, nice little ASCII art thing going on here. Let's uh, let's pull this out so we can see all of the info. So it looks like it's booting up and doing its thing. It's got its own web browser. So that last thing, the last log there, it says comport not configured. So after I installed or I plugged the 891 in, the COM ports came up. I think my enhanced COM port is COM7. So what we need to do, I think it's running. I think you can install this as a service. I might just put a, uh, a link, a desktop uh, shortcut to it. So let's don't close this window because this is it's running in the background. So I'm just going to minimize this uh, terminal session. And then if you go to HTTP localhost, colon 8910, which is comical, forward slash UI, it comes, it goes to the UI. So now it says radio not connected. So I got to go to settings. Ah, so now the COM port is there. So that enhanced COM port is COM7. So do I choose it? I choose it, select this port. Okay, yes. Disconnecting, connecting COM port. My radio did not do anything. <clears throat> so it says it's connected. Serial port disconnected. Connecting. Is it going to work? Oh, I have to, okay, so I have to set the baud rate to 38400 in the 891. That's what it is. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Cat rate, it is 05-06. 38400, 38400. Okay, now it's set to 38400. Ah, did you see that? It just connected. Oh, it's blinking. I see it blinking. Okay, so that's an important step. You got to have the um, the com or the the baud rate. So let's go back to the interface and let's open. Se oh, there it is. It's alive. Wow. Okay, so now let me go back. Wow, it works. <laughs> This is awesome. Wow. This is great. Now, it looks a little darker on your screen than it does on my screen. But, wow, this is awesome. Um, so, see the CW? So, the keyer, you can enable the keyer. Uh, can you enable the keyer? <laughs> Full break-in? Oh, because it's not in CW mode. It's in upper, upper sideband. So, let's... Let's get it out of um, SSB. So it looks like we can go to CW. Yep. So it it changed to CW. And yep, the key is on and the full uh, break-in is on. So let's change it to 40 meters. Change it to 40 meters. Yep, change to 40 meters. So let's go back to the main setting. 
So you got uh, AF, RF gain, AGC, set to slow, attenuator, IPO, clarifier, your narrow filter. I mean, you've got all of the settings here that you need. Processor. Oh, this is great. This is going to save me so much time. Uh, let's see. A meter, configuration. I mean, this thing's got some pretty cool stuff. All your memories. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. <laughs> it brings in the DX stuff. DVS. I don't know what the DVS is. Somebody's going to have to tell me what DVS is. Is that the... That's... It's not the memories. Yeah, is that the memories? Memories? And maybe you can... Oh, yeah. Make sure to keep browser window open during operation. Can you record stuff? Oh, my gosh. If I could record stuff on the fly, that would be awesome. Let's go back to the main menu here. And I'm assuming the power out is going to, to uh, be right there. Here's your bands. Here's your TX. Oh, this is, gonna, this is awesome. So now I can set it to 100 watts, set it to 40 watts. Oh, yeah. Let's set it to 50 watts. Set. Do the noise blanker, and you can... Yep. Change the value. The notch filter. And you can bring the notch. Yep, it's changing on the thing. This is awesome. Right here on the old Evolve. So I'm assuming that uh, now that I've got this working, I'm assuming that uh, when Polo comes out with their cat control, I'll be able to do rig control. But I mean, this is probably going to be more superior with a lot more functionality. So anyway, that is the 891 cat control interface. Runs in a browser, running it here on my laptop. Um, I'm going to put the links to all of this down below so you can um, go through and uh, configure it yourself. So anyway, just wanted to uh, show that off. Thanks for watching. 73.